Hey nerds, do you know how to rotate and zoom an image using React? Let's see how to do it, writing a component that allows users to rotate, zoom, and also save the rotations into an image file using React. A few days ago, I had this little fun kind of project inside the job where I had a task to create an image component that you can zoom in, zoom out, and rotate but not only rotate the image, but also save the rotation. We use that rotation, like copy that rotation somewhere else, and also being able to save that image or send them back to the back end, whatever you need. Let's see how this is built. Welcome to the code. What you saw in the browser, this, is basically this, a simple React application. This is built with bit. That is just a small JSX with some tailwind to make it look nice. This is a little card component. This is the another card component, the one that have the custom image. And also we have this image ref here, just to be able to draw the image as a result of the unsafe call here. So let's see how the custom image is built. Go to definition. So basically the custom image is an image component. Let's see how the JSX looks. There's another car component similar to the previous one, but there's a few extra elements there. There is this anchor tag that it will be used to be able to download the image. This is the canvas that is used to be able to edit the image. Then there is this button here to save the image, this action. Then there is this container that is basically a background. Also this image is the one that we will manipulate. And finally the buttons. So are you wondering why the image here and also the background here? Basically because zooming in and rotating the background for displaying purposes is really simple with CSS to just use these four properties where one is to set the image and another is to set the position, the size for zooming, and finally the rotation. But we still need the image because with the image, we can use the onload callback to actually draw the canvas. Next question, why the canvas? Rotating an image is actually editing the image. And if you want to save that, you need to save that edited data into somewhere. So the canvas allows you to retrieve the image or the draw data to then use it whatever you want. We will see how that is done. But first, let's go to the basic functionality is rotating and zooming. For that, our custom image will hold three states variables. I will rather use a uh, use reducer if this is something for production. I think it's easier and then you can add more actions to it. So for now, let's keep it simple. We hold the position. The original position is the center. We hold the zoom, the original zoom is just one, and we'll hold the rotation that originally is zero. Then we derive the state of the zoom to get the actual value. So if it's one, it's just cover, the, that will be used here as part of the background size. Then we will hold three refs, one for the canvas, one for the image tag, and one for the link tag. Let's start by the first function, our zoom in position. This is a simple function. The only thing that it calculates is where the mouse is. Remember, when you're zooming, we can move the mouse through the container and center the image in the different places. This action is made possible by the zooming position function. We get the zoomer, so the current target and the bounds of the it then we get the position of the mouse x and y inside that bounds and we set the position to be just like that now to zoom in basically if you click the image in this case the background image we set the zoom and zoom in position so the mouse will move through the image when you move the mouse through the image and if the zoom is enabled then zoom in position again but if you go out of the image let's zoom out and set the zoom as the original value, set zoom one. Now let's do the rotations. For the rotation, we have these two buttons, clockwise and counterclockwise. For that, 
let's create two functions. Clockwise rotation will just plus 90 to the rotation value and counterclockwise will minus 90 to the rotation value. We pass that to the corresponding buttons for clockwise, counterclockwise, and the other events to the background. So when you click the background, when you move out of the background, and when you move through the background, that is. With that, you have this rotate and zoom in. But that is not the whole functionality of this component. We want to be able to save the changes made, in this case, the rotation. Remember, till now, the rotation has been done for displaying purposes only with CSS. But if you want to save the rotation changes, it's actually editing the image, and we cannot edit the image inside the image tag. That is where the canvas components come into place. When the image loads using the onload callback, a function is being called draw canvas. Here, what we will do is check if the image is available and the canvas is available as a ref, retrieve the context, set the canvas size, and draw the image inside the canvas. Just that. So let me show you here. The canvas is there. That is the canvas that is hidden, but is there. So every time I do something with the image, this is the image, the canvas reflect that changes. But how the canvas reflect the changes I made to the CSS transformation, all of the changes through the buttons, in this case from the rotation, are on the state. We need to listen for the change to that state and we can do that with use effect. In this case, we will listen to an inner state and we will synchronize with the canvas API. So every time rotation change, we will call rotate canvas. And the rotate canvas function is this. We get the context to be, to be able to work with the canvas. And then with the context, we calculate the diagonal of the image. We set the canvas to be of that size with a height, clear the canvas so there is nothing in there, translate the canvas, this is to move the center of the canvas to the new center of the image when it's rotated, rotate the canvas using the rotation value, the rotation state, and then draw the image back into the canvas again. That's all. That is the magic behind the canvas. Now, there is a button, this save button. When it's click it, what we will do is check if the canvas is there. And if it's there, we will retrieve the data URL of the canvas. This is the base 64 representation of the image. We can then pass that data to the parent component of the custom image component that we have here. And also we will use the link. Remember that we have a link there? The link is hidden, but what we will do is set the href of the link to be the data that base 64 representation, set it as a download with the name image.png, and then click the link. So the user get the download effect immediately when clicking the save button. But I mentioned that the data is passed back to the parent component. Let's see how that works. This is the parent component. So the parent component have a use ref to an image tag. And when the on save is called, it check if the ref is present and will set the SRC to be that data. That is how, if I click save, the image here is draw. So there you go. To be able to rotate in position and zoom an image, you need three states. The position that will center the image into in place the zoom value and the rotation value. And then to render that into the browser, you need a container that will set the background image, the position, the size for zoom, and the transformation to rotate, and also the image. But if you want to go further and be able to edit the image, save the changes of the image, you need to use the Canvas API. This Canvas element will be draw when the image is loaded, and then when the image is rotated, the canvas will be rotated too. And when the user clicks save, 
you will again use the canvas, but this time you will transform the canvas into a basic 4 representation of the image. And there you go. This is a simple component that enable you to do much more. If you want to add more buttons, to add more effects, you can just manipulate the canvas and save that into your user's computer or doing something else with the base 64 data as saving that into storage. If you want to know more and play around with this component, check the description below. You'll find a link to Stackflix so you can make changes and whatever you want. YouTube is a good recommendation machine, so check this video here. I'm pretty sure you like it. And don't forget to subscribe or put your thumbs up if you like this type of video. See you in the next one.